Hello, welcome back to the channel. So, my last video I posted a uh, loser's edition. So, this video, this is that game. Except, I found a way to win. So without further, further ado, let's get into it and I will try to give you some... Um, Try to figure out that position that I started that other video on. One thing you do not want to do with this this gold right here is run it across the top above those pawns. It does not turn out well. And uh, in my undoing, I tried several ways to attack that rook right there. So... I don't know. There's there's plenty of undos in this game. Here he's gonna get that bishop. We're almost in okay, right there. So the position it's almost there, okay. So, I got checkmated on this. I got that out of there. So the reason I, I'm going to drop that rook, and this is partly a part of the reason um, that I put myself into the position, was because of this rook drop right here. Because he was willing to trade a knight for anything at that point to fork my king and take my rook and uh, that bishop has got that whole line so the reason that my my king is here is because if I go here he promotes the bishop on this square and so I drop that rook, and it basically makes that rook useless because it's tied into the defending this one square. So what I had to do was I had to figure out a way to block off that bishop. See so here, attacks the rook. See, without having the rook there, my king can't move. You know, and as you saw in the checkmate. So here, I move it over because he can't do anything. If I move that, okay, if I move this gold backwards, and he promotes this pawn, that gold is lost, because if I take the pawn, See, how did that work? If I take it, anyway, it's bad. Don't move it down. Moving it here, every time he brings his pawn up, I kill it. But I'm also preventing the bishop 
from having access to this rank. And what happens is he's going to drop the pawn. And I'm going to come up and get it. And he's going to have a gold in his pocket. And he's going to checkmate me. Which I think is exactly what happened in the uh, last video. So, anyway, move to the side. He chucks all his pawns at me. So I'm just preventing that diagonal. I don't want I don't want him to have access to it. Do a check to call it a heat check. And I get this see that knight attacks his rook. And I've been waiting for that. Trying to use that. And see he just here he goes back to this. He's got that bishop in his pocket, too. And there he goes. And so I've got to sack two pieces. And one of them happens to be my rook. Well, that was the only way I found that I was going to win this game. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see a trio of knights. Um, I'm going to drop... First, I have to capture them. I'm going to have, let's see, in this, in this scenario, if I, if I pin his king on his rook, you're going to see that happen. I cannot take that right away. So if I take it right away, I'm, I instantly lose this game because... He's got a rook in his pocket, and I've got a pretty good run area, but if I give him that bishop when I take the rook from him, that's too much for my king's position. So, let's go. Here we got the trio of knights. It's kind of like a triangle. And see, I can move. I move my king up, and he's safe right now. Now I can sacrifice this. Get a little rook drop. Not sure why he dropped his rook there. But he resigns right here. So as you can see, you know, it was a winning it was a winnable game. It's just would I have thought to do these things if I hadn't undone and got killed a few times? I mean if more than a few times. I think I got checkmated four times. Um just running through the line, so yeah. I just thought this was a cool game.